Khan and Dr. Sheetal Sushdeva, consulting gynecologist Apollo Kravel, Motinagar, Delhi. Friends, today we'll be discussing a few myths and facts about HPV and cervical cancer. A very common myth is that a regular pap smear is enough to protect a woman against cervical cancer. But the fact actually is, friends, that although pap smear has been very useful in significantly decreasing the incidence of cervical cancer across the world, but alone it is not enough and it is always better to club it with HPV DNA while testing and also you should go for cervical cancer vaccination as well. Another myth is that a female with HPV will experience some sort of warning symptoms. But the fact is females with the HPV infections, they do not usually experience any symptoms. Most of the infections are asymptomatic. So do not go with that myth. At if at all there are symptoms, then the symptoms could be bleeding after relations or a female can experience postcoital pain as well. Another myth is that there is nothing I can do to prevent cervical cancer apart from pap smear or the HPV DNA testing. Well, the fact is that if you avoid the high risk situations, you can provide yourself another protection against cervical cancer. Those high risk situations would be the incidence of smoking, the multiple sexual partners, starting sexual activity at a very initial, at a very early age, and also the weakened immune system. The fourth myth is that if somebody has had a HPV vaccine, then there is no need for, for uh, the HPV DNA testing or the pap smear. The fact is, even if you get yourself vaccinated against cervical cancer, still you need to go for your regular pap smear or the HPV DNA testing if required. I hope this information was useful for you friends. Thank you.